Hey, 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 family. It's your girl, Evelyn, and I am back with another video. So, um, I probably should do, I think I'll, you know, I'll film that right after this. I probably should do like a life update, but I moved a couple of months ago and I've been slowly taking my time furnishing my new place. And so, um, recently I took a trip to Magnolia Market by Chip and Joanna Gaines. If you're familiar with the show Fixer Upper, if you remember when they bought the silos where they have this whole like marketplace experience arena with all of their different stores and product lines and i've been there several times every time i've gone back they have expanded listen i'm let me just say this as an aside as a business strategist going to their little piece of the world is like a master class in entrepreneurship but anyway but my mom, who is big into real estate, has always loved the show, had never been. So I decided um, one weekend just to call her up and be like, we should roll down there. So I did a little bit of shopping while I was there, just a little mini haul. And I figured I'd share with you what I got. Obviously, um, some of these things probably can be found on their website on their e-commerce commerce store and if i can find these things on their e-commerce commerce store i'll link to them in the description of this video but so i bought a few kitchenware things obviously hello chef and then i bought actually two items of clothing surprisingly so i knew that i was probably going to get some houseware stuff i actually had the intention on getting some vases bosses if you will ended up not getting the vases even though they were beautiful and i probably will order those online but those are things that i've i could probably source them somewhere else but the kitchen um things, the items that I got, the colorway is something that I haven't really seen. And so I wanted to get that. And then I had two really cute dresses that I was like, oh, let me get these while I'm here. So if you're into that kind of thing, then let's keep on watching. So here's the first <laughs> giant bag here. And I want to start with the rolling pin that I bought, y'all. First of all, I now let me say this. I prefer a French style rolling pin over a standard rolling pin but this standard rolling pin was so beautiful i had to get it this is it so you know it's it's like a copper bronze on the handles it's a darker wood it is gorgeous i so when i say this colorway i've seen like more bright copper which is more almost like a rose gold and I've seen like gold gold, which you can find everywhere. But this colorway, this deep of a colorway, I have not seen. And so I was like, do I even need this? Do I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes. So I picked that up. And let me tell you, I paid a premium for these, uh, these uh, colorways because I believe that this rolling pin was, yes, yeah, $60. And this is pure, this is pure walnut and copper. So, but it's, it's, it's so gorgeous. Okay. The next thing that I picked up to coordinate with that rolling pin are these fine mesh strainers. Again, in this deeper copper versus a more rose gold. I mean, it's showing up much brighter on camera because of all the lights and I'm in front of a really large window, but it's, I mean, it's really, it's almost it's like close to my skin tone color, like this, the, the face, the color of my face. And again, I love this deeper colorway. And so um, I got this, the Copper Sieves set, and this was $32. So got that. And so as you can see, we, we got, we got, these actually match in person, even if they don't look like they match on camera, they do match in person. We, we've got a theme going on here. And, Continuing with baking, I picked up this copper pastry tool set. Y'all, look at this. So let me tell you what's interesting is I actually use offset spatulas quite often, even when I'm not baking. And so the ones I have are from culinary school. So they're like really, you know, cheap, you know, um, they're, um, you know, made for culinary school students. And I graduated from culinary school 12 years ago. So... <laughs> 
so, and I got them when I first started. So you can imagine how old they are. But I just thought, how gorgeous is this? And I already have a whisk in my kitchen that has like the walnut handle and the copper um, whisk part. So I was like, this, I'm, about to, I'm about to set it off. But you've also got the pastry cutter and the pastry brush. And if y'all don't know, um, while I am a chef, I went to culinary school and I did both bacon and pastry. I did bacon and pastry and I did the savory culinary side, but I graduated in bacon and pastry because I didn't want to pay like thousands of dollars for one more class to graduate in both. But technically I did both programs, but my degree is bacon and pastry. So when I saw this, okay, when I saw this, I was like, this, so I saw this first and this was the jump off. Okay. So I saw this and I was like, Evelyn, you don't really need it. And then I was like, but I do. Okay. And then I saw the sieves next. Okay. And then I saw the rolling pin, but then, and this is the last piece from the kitchen. Okay. After, after I saw all of that, I was like, okay, that's cute. That's, you know, oh, let me tell you how much this was. This was $54. You know, the thing, I, I'm bouge, okay? You know, I just, and that's just the phase of life that I'm in. But y'all, after I saw that, okay, I was minding my magical black business, you know, just perusing, still in the kitchen area. And this stuff may not excite y'all, but it excites me, okay? And I saw this. Girl, are you kidding me? Copper with gold accents. I said, silver who? Chrome where? I, and I have. I have a strainer like this that is chrome or silver or whatever you want to call it. It ain't this. Can we, can we get into it? This was $26. So... It, do, but do you see the gold? And it's not even a super like over the top shiny gold on it. It says Magnolia. I, you know, I'm not a real big fan of that, but it's, it's very subtle. Um, I love it. So that's what I got in the kitchen. Let me put that to the side. Look, look, just look how, look at the colors. Anyway, it's all bronzy and coppery behind me and whatnot. Okay, so <laughs> Let me let me wrap up this all. So I also picked up two dresses from them. So if you've never been to the silos, so let me tell you, I've been there three. This was my third time going, third or fourth time going. And every time I've gone there, they've expanded. So when I first went there, they had their bakery. They had their main store, like houseware store. And then they had like this courtyard area and they had food trucks. Okay. Now, when you go, they have their bakery, their main store. They have their food trucks there that are not theirs, but then they have three of their own food trucks. They've got their restaurant. They've got their coffee shop. And then they've got um, like a garden supply store. Well, So then they have all these like little bitty stores that are like based off their own thing, which used to be just different sections in the big store. So there's one store when you walk in, you can clearly tell that it's for like men, right? And it's all like chip inspired. And then there's like a stationary store. And then there's like a spa and bathroom and body products store. And then there's like a clothing store. And then there's a, a leather purse and a accessories store. And, um, I think they had one store where they were going to put something in, but they had all these little mini boutiques, but they're all under the umbrella of the Magnolia market, which is why this is why I say it's a master class in entrepreneurship. Then they had their huge furniture store, plus they have their restaurant. And then now they have like a baseball field or whatever they have. I mean, it's just a lot. And, you know, they got their bed and breakfast and it looked like they may have bought a hotel right next to the silos anyway. So I was going to these little boutiques. So these, all of this used to be in the big store in just little sections. And they now have like expanded it into these itty bitty like mini boutiques or whatever. So of course I went into, my mom and I, we went into every single boutique, boutique, boutique. Y'all, I feel like the old, the longer I live in Texas, the more I lose my Midwestern accent and I sound like a Southerner. 
And I don't really know how I feel about that. Let's keep going. So I picked up two dresses. So the first, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna notice the theme. And again, me holding it up is probably not gonna do it any justice. But it is this beautiful copper dress. I like I. So it's got like the ruched waist, and then it's you know got one tier on it. It ties in front. Very, you know what's funny? It's very similar to the dress I have on today, but the color. Like my favorite um, lip balm, like tinted lip balm is in a color like this. And kind of this is very similar to the blush colors that I was talking about that are my favorite. But I picked this up and it was very reasonably priced. This was $46 and it's like lined and everything. So really, really nice. Um, the, the brand is called Grade and Gather. So... I picked that up and I think this is just gorgeous. And this is one of those multi-season um, dresses because even though it's a long sleeve, it's light enough weight. So this could be like um, fall, winter, and spring. Not summer in Texas because it'd be 100 and some degrees here, but, and we're, we're almost into summer here. Um, but pick that up. And then this other dress, which is so me, again, is in this kind of silky fabric. And it's got like a V-neck, you know, it's ruched at the waist and it's super flowy. Yes, it has pockets, but the thing that I think got me is it literally, my nail color is exactly, <laughs> is exactly this color. Look at that, right? So just gorgeous. Um, and it's, it's not necessarily a cap sleeve, but it's not necessarily a short sleeve. It's like somewhere in the middle. And, and I like that because I am very um, blessed in the lower region. And so sometimes I need something up top to kind of balance out my shape. And so just a really cute, you know, very feminine, flowy dress. And this one was $54. Um, I think this one is lined too. No, nope, this one is not lined. So this is even more lightweight. So this is definitely a summer, a spring summer dress. But I just thought it was really, really gorgeous. The color got me. And so um, that's it, y'all. So that's my haul from Magnolia Market. Let me know in the comments below, have you been to the silos in Waco, Texas? It's about a two-hour drive, just shy of a two-hour drive from Dallas. Let me know if you've been or if you've ordered stuff off of their website before. What I can tell you is seeing every, every time I go, they've expanded and also seeing the items in person, really, really high quality stuff. And I don't think it's overpriced for what it is, right? I think it's like the pricing is like spot on for what it is. So um, had a great time, had a couple little snacks there. And if, if I still have some clips, because if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw my little like Instagram stories recap. But if I, if I, if, if it's in me, I'll, if I still have them, I'll attach it to the end of this video, just to give you a little bit behind the scenes of, um, the Magnolia market at the silo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if, if I can find the things on the website, I will link them below in the description box and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Magnolia home there is also in the distance the coffee shop beautiful pavilion currently in their furniture store which is huge my mom I'm going to get a hand pie oh my gosh I'm gonna get the sopapilla and the brown sugar maple so good